On this episode of Pin My Setup, I'm going to be talking about your setups you submitted for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact because this show starts now. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pit My Setup, episode number 169. We're going to live on December 20th, 2016. My name's Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Philly. And as always, we are joined by producer Tom. Guys, good afternoon. Whoa. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. Um, by the way, we also have D-Dog, a.k.a. Dexter, sitting next to me on the floor. So you might hear a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, but nonetheless, like that noise. Yep, there you go. Um, but anyways, with that fact that I do... Oh, quick announcements, I guess I could say. If you want to submit your setup, hit my setup.com slash Q's the place to go. And also, we're trying to do a cool stream on December 24th, a.k.a. Christmas Eve. Stay tuned to our Twitter for more information for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got to say for now. Let's hippity hop into the first set of the day submitted by Henry. Now, Henry is 17. He enjoys streaming on Twitch and uploading to YouTube. If you want to check him out, his Twitch name is Henry FIFA and his uh, YouTube name is TPH Productions. So at first glance, I'm not going to lie. The, the thing that like confused me was like the overall just layout. Like it's not bad in terms of usability and stuff, but it looked like he wasn't using the desk the right way. I don't know if anyone else got that vibe. Like, it just seemed like he was... I don't, I don't know what it is exactly. I think... Look at the two monitors in comparison to where the shelves are. It, it looks like there's a huge gap back there. Like, yeah. I don't know. It just looked off. Do, do you get that same feel? Yeah, it's definitely off the wall. You can tell on the left side, too. It's, like, off... It kind of looks like it's off the wall. I don't know. I can't really tell. And the light is too bright back there to tell if it's off the wall. Yeah, it, it just looked interesting it, it just didn't look like he put things in the spot it should have been um especially because the way he's using it you think those monitors would be somewhat flat against the wall um but he's using it sort of as like a corner desk but but kind of like it's just a very confusing one uh to say the least but the more i looked at it the more it made sense to me um and <laughs> really it's it's not what i expected but the chat is really angry about that monitor stand because of course, it's not being used. He has the monitor arm for the two uh, monitors. And then he's just got this, like, riser piece of wood thing that I've seen before. And it looks nice. But in this setup, one, it doesn't really fit in. But two, there actually is no purpose for it. Like, why is that there? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Regardless, um, one of the big things, main concerns I had for usability, although I love that this is a place where he makes videos, he streams, I think all that is awesome. The placement of the microphone, although probably ideal for you, um, I first off would hate it because especially with the pop arm, uh, pop, what is it called? Filter. Pop filter, yeah, pop filter arm, that's what I'm trying to say, like the gooseneck. Look at the placement of that and think about where your hands are when you're using the keyboard. Uh, this is why you would just need to get a mic arm. You could get the really cheap 12, $13 New Year, newer, whatever mic arm. That works perfectly. Or you get something a little bit more expensive like the High PLT or the uh, Rode PSA-1, one of those. And that would that would really save your life right there, getting that. Um, because that's making it so it's perfectly in front of your face, but it's not taking up valuable desk space and blocking your use of the keyboard and mouse, especially if you're trying to play games like Rocket League and whatnot, unless you're using the controller. I mean, really, it, it just seems like an annoyance. I don't know if you would agree with that, Tom. Like, picture I you sitting there right now. No, it would be terrible. Like, how do you even type? How do you do anything? Like, it just doesn't work. Yeah, it, it does. It really doesn't make sense. So, um, like I said, although I like what you're going for, those are two main things. Like, the monitorizer, not really, like, life-changing, but I'd just say get rid of it. If anything, it would make your setup look a little more, like, you know... It would really help with the whole floating monitors thing, you know? And then the uh, mic arm, super cheap fix, and it would probably make your life a lot easier. I know, though, that he's probably, right, probably going to be one of those guys that replies and says, Actually, it's the best place ever. I had the million-dollar mic arm, and it just wasn't sufficient enough. So I like, put my hand through the little hole over there, yeah, and it's and perfect. It's, it gets caught in there time to time, but I like it a lot. Like, no, come on. We know it's not the best thing in the world. Uh, plus, those speakers are ginormous. Um, you know, personally, for this setup, I think they're overkill. Some a little bit smaller would look a lot cleaner. 
And, uh, you know, the controllers are cool. I, I put that off to, like, you know, maybe further back, something like that. And then there's a lot going on over by the laptop. I get it, the cables and things like that. Just looks like a lot going on. Um, but really, the shelves looks more like, you know, storage for some stuff rather than telling a story but i think the theme he did a pretty good job with you know the metals and all that but where he's got that photo on the the right side why not get another one that goes next to it it would just kind of fill up that space but that's the thing it's like the angling is all off because of the angle of the monitor so like the wall it just it all seems a little weird to me um, because it's not a true corner desk where he's like literally his monitors are in the corner they're off and it's just it's very confusing but um cable management pretty good considering all we see is the microphone cable you know kind of one of those cables it's hard to you don't want to tie it down because then you, you don't have slack and if you move the mic in and out but then again apparently you just keep your, your microphone like that so uh that's all i have to say for that unless you have something else you want to say no cool all right next setup is submitted by jasper or jasper probably jasper uh <laughs> 20 years old he's a videographer and fo photographer i almost said photographer uh <laughs> he likes to game and he likes to have terrible cable management, as we can see. If we look at the right leg, it looks like he was practicing his lassoing skills because he, yeah, he just wrapped it around the leg and didn't even care to, like, make it a tight, you know, wrap. It, it was just sort of a loose-fitting one. Um, but, yeah, he's got the two lights, which I think are pretty cool, but that adds to the, the whole, like, killing of the simplistic look that he was going for uh you know i love the speakers i, I think that's something a lot of people have uh kind of like those krks where it's the black with the yellow and it just uh just looks so sexy um but then i looked at the tv and i was like what are you doing i was like bro are you mag get it because his hat if you look in the second photo it's like, oh, are you are you mag? <laughs> Anyways, uh, no, really, TV placement, god awful. Don't tell me it's usable in any way, shape, or form because seriously, it's like pointing down. It's not even angled towards you if you're sitting dead center to your monitor. Just does not seem like a smart idea. But then again, uh, you know, bezels fatter than your mom on that monitor. Am I right? Um, what is that like a Phillips or something? That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks it like it. Needs a little bit of love in there. Uh, definitely in a setup like this, I would expect, yeah, like a single monitor setup, perfectly fine. But I think it, it just is super underwhelming, especially when the majority of the screen is bezels, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think that <laughs> Dexter's like, I need to go. But, uh, yeah, I think the, the setup itself, you know, simplicity, he did it, but... Yeah, you know, and, and someone said, oh, it looks like the TV can be pulled out. It, if you zoom in there, like, yeah, it looks like there's an arm where it can be angled out. But it, it's one of those things where the TV needs to be in a good spot and can be adjusted. It's not like uh, it's in a really terrible spot. Watch what I can do when I put it. Like, yeah, think you're about, definitely going to hit the monitor once you pull it out. That's like, it, another it's good point. It basically. Yeah. And even when you pull it out, like, how is that going to make it even better? Yeah. Where are you going to put it? That makes it ideal. Exactly. So. A little bit weird there, um, and of course he's got like a DSLR because uh, he's a photographer, yeah. and his photos are god awful. The ones that he sent us, so he's like, yeah, they're so proportionate weird. It's like I can't. Yeah, even... they're really low resolution, and, and it's like I get it. You want to show off that you have the the camera, but at least leaving like the lens there looks cool. But I mean, you could have hooked us up with a better photo. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I mean. And, and actually, Pesky Games just said, this guy cares about audio more than image quality. Um, you know what's weird? It, he's a photographer and a videographer, and his his screen is shit. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Yeah, like, I just realized that. It, it, and I feel bad saying it like that, but like... I don't know, it's just confusing. I mean, he does have his laptop, maybe that's where he does the majority of his work, but... I don't know. Um, why didn't he send the photos using a good camera? Great question, Mark. Well, apparently he wants to show it off. And that's that's common. Um, last episode, someone did the same thing. They're like, ah, oh, I just want to show that I have it. Un understandable. But at the same time, I think Tom would agree, high-quality photos sometimes can make your setup look even prettier. Yeah, setup spotlight, for example. You can have like a pretty, like, okay setup but mm. if you have great picture quality it makes it look 10 times better oh yeah and especially if you have leds that you can like really make look super nice in the photos it takes a setup from like eh to like ooh, okay uh anyways let's go to the next setup submitted by revo 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 i don't know uh he's 13 didn't really tell me anything about himself 
uh, other than like he said he tried really hard to get money from family and friends and stuff. But I mean, looks like he was successful. He's got nice curve display. He's got um, what looks to be like a good lineup of peripherals. He's got a mini fridge. I don't even have a mini fridge. I mean, I think he's doing pretty, pretty okay. He kind of acted like, oh, you know, you could put me on set of nightmares kind of thing. So it's like, come on, dude. I hate it's like when people that have like insane setups are like, Yeah, dude, I mean if you don't put it on show, just put it on set of nightmares at least, dude. Like that'd yeah. be cool. Like people do it all the time and I'm like, Really? You're gonna be that guy? Obviously your setup is not set of nightmares worthy. Um but regardless, taking a look at this, it is very simple. Uh you know, I think a black version of this desk would have looked even better in the setup. Um or that, white. Or white. Yeah, it's just the, the color he has right now doesn't really work. But I was no. thinking with the white walls, you know, the black would have really contrasted. And he Damn. could put something above the monitor and it would have really taken it to the next level. Uh, but, you know, this setup, it's just a simple thing. Like, yeah, your cable management is great on the underside. Uh, pretty sure this desk has it built into the backside, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. That, that could be just the Mickey. Um, but regardless, the outside of the computer coming through the back yeah like just velcro those a little bit more it would make it look a little bit neater um and obviously your headphone i would just you know get something on the side of the desk whatever just make it look a little bit nicer and then really it's just theme simple things like that i don't think we're gonna really spend too much time on this but personality is what's lacking am i right Yes. Okay. Well, next set of the day is going to be submitted by Joshua. Now, Joshua is 14. His YouTube channel is Sacred Skill. And the one skill he doesn't have is taking a good photo. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Really, though, I mean, this is a great example of a, a photo that doesn't really help the setup. I mean, I think the wallpaper is the first problem, so it's yeah. not really his fault there. But... <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, that that's something Tom would have in his room, you know, not yeah, Joshua. I mean, I love it, but it's just not fit for the setup. It's not Joshua. It's not Joshua. It's not. It's really not. Uh, so, okay, here's the thing. Thinking about usability, sitting there using the computer, it's great. You know, you got speakers, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. But I think the overall positioning of things on the desk, like the, the PC, doesn't really make sense. Why do you have another extended mouse mat over there? A lot of random accessories like a extra mouse and Google Cardboard. I think that should be cleaned up. And really, if you were to just simplify the desktop and work on the cables on top a little bit more, this setup wouldn't be that bad. Um, and really, it isn't bad. It really isn't. He's got a lot of cool stuff on display. I mean, the shelf is kind of not the prettiest thing in the world. If that was like just a simple black shelf, um, it would look really good. Picture if the walls were gray, he had the black shelf, and then a clean, simplified version of his desk. It would be a great setup. I definitely don't think you need to upgrade anything. I know that the speakers, they don't look to be like the, the best thing in the world, but I don't think that's your issue. Um, I think it's really just furniture and overall aesthetic of the room. Like... You got to do something about that. And that's this is another setup where there's no personality. So uh, the personality is all on the shelf. That's great. I, I factored that in for sure. But I'm talking about the walls. You got to do something with it. Uh, but then again, if he can't change the wallpaper, I'm sure he can't put anything up on the wall. <laughs> so yeah. it could be one of those situations. And, and I, I would even just like get like like a black curtain or some like cardboard or something like that. Something. And just cover it up. Just because it just doesn't look appealing no matter what kind of setup you have. If you have like a pink setup, I don't even think it would look even good. Yeah, because I mean, you just, know what? It's not like pink. It's dried out like bland pink. Yeah. Which makes it even worse. If, if it had been just like straight up pop pop in hot pink it would not look nearly as bad but it does look a little like eh, like the life was sucked out of it yeah so that's that's my thoughts i'm not going to really sit here and bash them uh because it's really it's not bad it's just the room so it is what it is but let's go to the next setup submitted by michael now staying on this photo this was submitted uh for episode 66 michael's 26 by the way i don't know if i said that uh and this was his submission and i, I kind of tore him a new one i think uh he's really into wildlife photography and pc gaming and he likes to read but i remember making fun of him because i'm like you're in the photography and this is this is what he said like i just remember so many different things that i said like the closet door and a lot of problems, but, uh, you know, next next photo shows you that he's kind of been uh, upgrading some stuff, to say the least. There's three photos. The last one just shows cable management and uh, the huge-ass mammoth printer. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, really, he, he took this to the next level and kind of kept the walls the same. I think it's just the same photo. Um, 
Yeah, actually, if you go back to the first photo, it's, it's just the same thing on the wall. White balance is on. That's yeah, actually. he finally white balanced. It wasn't so yellow. Or he just got natural daylight and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, absolutely insane what he did. And, and, like, I mean, it just goes to show. A little trip to Ikea. Uh, a lot of money on new, <laughs> new stuff like new computer, uh, new monitor, monitor, peripherals. Really, he just bought new everything the uh, lesson is get new stuff That's yeah literally just throw it the out just get a credit card and just buy new stuff i mean the monitor i think is probably one of the biggest um changes that like completely blew me away at first glance because you look at that you're like Ehh. i mean the left monitor wasn't bad but the right yeah, monitor is just not necessary it just it gave you that old vibe and then you go to that and it just looks sexy like you no matter what you do it just looks sexy but but there's still some issues. Um, granted, I, his score must have just like doubled, if anything. But look at the closet. You're still, yeah, you have two doors. Great. But what about the one where uh, on the left? I'm sure opening the right and trying to get something from the far left of the closet, it's got to be hard. Uh, so that's one thing, usability, that I wasn't a fan of. Another thing, nitpicking. Uh, the speaker should be swapped with the Kindle and the other thing. Like, why not put the speakers a little bit closer to the monitor tilting in at you? Because it's not like they're bad right now, but uh, I think it would look a little bit better and then have the Kindle and the other thing on the outer skirts of the of the speakers. Wouldn't that look nice and clean? Yeah, it would look clean. Yeah, and I just feel like it would be nicer to have the speakers a little bit closer to you. Um, but the other thing is, of course, the usability having the Big Brother printer fax machine thing mammoth from... 30 years ago probably not even that old it, it looks pretty new but still like that is huge and just the usability of sitting there and like having your freaking feet touching that it just seems like an issue so yeah i definitely think you probably not you probably don't have a lot of room but uh if you're able to find another spot for that it would make a world of difference um but tom what, what are your thoughts it's clean i mean there's really like not a lot wrong with it yeah you switch the speakers um I mean the the photo above, like I like how it's. I'm pretty sure it's his picture, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean it's great and all, but maybe adding something to the sides of each one. I mean that's the only thing I can really think of. Well, yeah, he's a he's, you know, he does wildlife photography, so you would think that he would have more than I don't know, say five photos, right? Yeah. Um. So why not fill up the wall a little bit more? It looks like you have insane work. It, like yeah. actually looks really cool. Uh, so why not put more there, and it makes it even more personal. Like, we see the stuff by the computer and stuff, but fill up the walls a little bit more. I think that would look crazy. Um, and the other thing is, yeah, people are a lot of people are saying th there's really no personality. I think having his photos adds personality. Um, but like Tom said, more would be better. It's still the same small little print. Um, but, yeah, and... I think it's safe to say he, he has gotten into PC gaming now because he said he he's into it. Um, and I think now we can actually say, yeah, you are. Because <laughs> the last time, it just didn't... Yeah, but whatever. Uh, anyways, let's go to the next photo setup thing submitted by Ty. Uh, he's 13. He didn't really tell me anything about himself other than the fact that he... Uh, doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's like, okay. That's this, not true. No, the second photo. First off, second photo. Um, he put everything to the bottom of the desk. That is an attempt, okay? And, and the thing is, that's a lot of work. And for it to still be up there, a lot of people, they put it up and it doesn't ever stay. So good job on you. Um, but you got to tack those cables up. You got to keep it nice and flat. If you're going to put everything to the bottom of the desk, you got to flatten it out. Uh, and while you were at Ikea, you should have picked up the Signum. That would have helped a lot. Could have held like, you know, power bricks, things like that. If not, it's just a, a raceway for the cables. Would have really helped um, in the long term. And then uh, the actual setup itself, think about the usability. It's not bad at all. He's sitting there. He's got his monitor. Boom. Does he have speakers? I don't think so. Um, you know, he's got his controllers and stuff. A nice little spot for those to sit would be cool. Uh, and then I think, like, you know, the console placement, yeah, it just, it's whatever it is, you know? Uh, and then I want to know Tom's thoughts on putting the games there. They're probably Velcroed, I would hope, and not yeah, glued. But it looks so weird. <laughs> You're it's not like a fan? Not, it's not like. It's not like sectioned off in a certain. It just like placed there. It's like it's not like it's off to that. I would like it better if it was maybe running like long ways to the left of the desk, 
That way it's not like above the desk, but it's off to the side of the desk. You know, I, I also think, cleaning. although I, I advise against it, I think having more games and having them closer together would look even better. Yeah. Like, let's say it was that left side, but he had four rows going up. Um, it would probably look a little bit cooler. But I don't know if that was an attempt at, like, personality or was an attempt at, like, you actually keep him there and, like, it's like grab storage, and go. basically, but you just yeah. throw it on the wall instead. It's like he's about to go in the war, so he grabs the games off the wall, put them into, like, his backpack, goes over to his friend's house. Um, but, yeah, I thought that was a little bit weird. Now, the other thing that's weird is the placement of the TV, obviously. The bezels are fatter than your mom, but also the, uh, the sound bar. I mean... <laughs> Da. Is it supposed to go below? It's supposed to go below. Uh, plus, that just looks like it's actually tilted to the ceiling. Yeah. I don't know if like the sound is gonna be the best. Uh, maybe he's laying like on the ceiling. Maybe like he's a, got a bunk bed. Yeah. God, maybe he's got a bunk bed. The bunk bed's up. He wants to point it towards him. The TV's actually the perfect size. Because he has an issue where his eyes actually duplicate the size of TV. So it's actually like a 40-inch TV. That could be it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably it. Damn. It's the best spot for it. Yeah, I was actually going to like take a lot of points off. But like, I think I get it now. I think I get it. So, no, really, what the hell. Uh, <laughs> and like to shelf off to the side, like, okay, graphics card, iPhone box. That's cool. Fine. Simple. Good. Uh, I just think everything is placed in a weird spot. It's overall usability of the TV that's going to hurt you and a little bit of the cable management. But it is like a very simple 13-year-old setup. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but let's go to the next setup submitted by Luke. And Luke is 16. Uh, this is his ski-themed setup. Can we just look at the, the, the plants, right? Zo zoom in on those plants. Those plants are actually spray-painted just a tad white. To make it look like there's snow on them. Doesn't make it look like snow. It just looks like they're white plants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. But, hey, it, I will give them props for trying to do... Because that is freaking... That is badass to go for a ski theme and think, I'm going to take fake plants and make it look like there's snow on there. You know, he could have just taken, like, you know, took cocaine, powdered on... It He's probably would have been... <laughs> yeah, what? He's got plenty of it, so, I mean, why not just yeah, sprinkle right? some cocaine? Uh, really, I think, you know, something, like, a little powdery would have looked really cool. Like, a little bit of, like, baby powder or something like that. Yeah, something you can make at home. You yeah, know? regardless, I like the attempt. I think that's cool, uh, but Tom's right. It, uh, it just kind of looks like... It just like, looks like white plants. I mean, yeah. it's cool, but... But it kind of yeah. looks like, you know, you're up in the mountains, and it's, like, the plants that got a little bit of snow left over yeah, on Yeah, but they stay perfectly up. Straight, yeah, you know, like no issue whatsoever. Um, uh, okay. And the other thing is, if you look at the left side of his desk, he's got like a little uh, what was that snowmobile that's cool? He's got like you know, fitting in with this theme. And then on the right side, that plane is apparently the plane he took to go on his first ski trip, which I'm pretty that's sure, awesome. yeah, but it's just like a it's like a normal plane, it's, it's like a tad bit small though, yeah. I don't know how he actually got in it to go. But I think it's cool that he has it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. And someone just said ultra wide. God, that would look so sexy here. I, I'm not even lying. Like, but that I think it looks perfectly fine like that. No, I know, but imagine a fat ass ultra wide. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's like Tom gets like all weirded out. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, talking about this setup, he just nailed it. Category by category, he did a great job. Wire management. Look at the wires. Oh, wait, what wires? Oh, ho, ho, ho. wire management, absolutely perfect. Out of sight, out of mind. All the stuff on his desk either relates to his theme or it's used on a daily basis. Check. Usability. He's sitting there. He's got his massive keyboard. He's got his screen, his speakers. It just works. It works. Accessories. Now, accessories, you know, I still gave him a 10 because I think he has everything he needs he did a great job but my opinion to make this an even better setup is just to upgrade um you know he he's what 16 right now so really for 16 is perfect but down the road things like better speakers better monitors better like overall everything would just make this setup so undeniably sexy for any person um, but I already seen people say like, you know, hey, that uh, the speakers aren't that good. Hey, upgrade the monitor. Like that's what I would say. I still gave him a ten. He did a great job. But theme, I did give him an eight. So he got ten on everything. 
but he got an eight on theme. The reason I gave him an eight, an eight, like, yeah, he's got that awesome canvas above, which you look at the second photo, it's like, you know, the skis, mountains, all that stuff. Um, I think that that left side of the room is really not being utilized uh, right next to the, the setup, you know? He's got a really small end table, coffee table kind of thing, and it doesn't match the white, and it's just like a lamp, and it's like, I feel like uh, the, the other problem is that he's squeezing his computer in right there. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It, that's a problem, I think. Why not get something that's white, or even if it stayed that color, just some some way to display your your computer a little bit better, because um, that's kind of like a big part of your setup. And if you follow suit with the rest of your uh, setup, it would look badass. Even if you were to get like a white Fantex uh, Evolve case, oh my god, that would look sexy. Do they have white? I don't know. Um, I feel like I've seen. It. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, regardless, even like the aluminum whatever it would look so nice and it would be really really badass um everybody's talking about the pole in the middle of the the desk yeah but it's not it's far enough to where i don't think it's that big of an issue but it's also when you have a desk like this the only other solution is to get rid of the pole and brace it with a two by four to the wall yeah. which can be kind of a pain in the ass and some people can't do it um <clears throat> And then a lot of people are saying that the monitor arm isn't centered. And so it seems like a lot of people are getting mad about like little things. Uh, but I could see that's not perfectly centered to the yeah, pole. Yeah, but I think, isn't that how the, the mount, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, the mount is, it's, it's like on like the right like, side. Yeah. yeah, it's supposed to be like that. So it's the not monitor looks centered, the pole. but they're just saying because of the pole. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's actually in a good spot. Um, regardless, I definitely think the left side needs to be worked on. And... I think he's actually in the chat. He said the cables don't reach. Buy longer cables. I mean, if you're talking an HDMI cable and, and what else? What else does he have plugged in? You know, you're talking an HDMI cable. It's really not much. The speakers, I mean, the cables should be long enough. If not, cheap. Super cheap. For like 10 bucks, you get yourself the, everything you need. Uh, so I think cables not being long enough is kind of a crappy reason. But uh, like I said, setup is great. I, I gave it a great score. So... Anyways, let's go to the next setup submitted by Jort, who's also 16. He uses his setup for gaming, homework, and just relaxing. Now, not really the best angled photo, but here's the thing. This setup is also pretty amazing, but the cables are going to kill it, you know? So you got to go, and you got to fix it. You got to fix it. Uh, so I think with this, other than the cables... It's a it's a good setup. The monitors seem usable. The speakers, uh, all the accessories on the desktop, this tip, desktop seem pretty good. Uh, themes another thing where it's like, you know, he's got these three photos. I can't really see what they are. Uh, Chesterfield. Yeah, uh, I don't some know what, sort of inside joke. <laughs> inside joke. Uh, I, I, what is Chesterfield, guys? I, I don't know. Um, but honestly, I, I feel like it just looks a little underwhelming, especially with the brown frames. But. I'm not an interior designer by any means, but that's just kind of like my thoughts. Plus, he has two PCs, which kind of adds to the bulk. So that needs to be worked on a little bit. Um, I mean, they're like humping each other, too. They're like right there. He's got all the remotes on top. And that needs to go. Um, you know, you have drawers. You might as well utilize the drawers. So really, usability is there. It seems like a great setup, but really, it's just like... A little bit too much going on. A little bit too much going on with the right side. Under the desk, I think, is where you need most of the work. Probably all the work, other than the theme. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about that one. I think, you know, he, he said he uses it for setup, gaming, homework, just relaxing. It, it seems like that. I uh, don't know the reason for two PCs, though. So, yeah. Anything uh, you want to add to that, Tom? No, you pretty much hit everything on the, <clears throat> the head. I always do, Tom. I always do. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the final set of the day. Submitted by Jake. He's 26, and his email made me laugh. He said, I'm a bartender by night and a YouTuber by also night. <laughs> uh, YouTube channel is Next Level X. He's covering mostly Dark Souls and some other stuff, but if you like Dark Souls, go check him out. Now, this setup, I really liked for the personality. I mean, personality is there. I don't know if those are probably not custom painted. No, they, he probably bought those boards, right? I don't know, because I don't know what those names are, because they're not like anything related to the yeah. characters. Daywon, Aslam, Eunice, Maulin, Cooper, <laughs> yeah. Willow. 
Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe some people could tell me. Um, a lot of people are saying their first thought is cluttered. Um, I think the reason they're saying that is mainly because the desk is wrapped and it makes it look like there's a lot more on the desk than there really is. Which I will say, and it's not wrapped. It looks like it's just stickers. Really nice stickers. I mean, they look They, they cut off perfectly, though. Yeah, so it could be wrapped. I don't know how he did that. But regardless, here, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. My initial thoughts were, whoa, 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 oh, 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 what the fuck? No, oh, okay. Oh, what the f no, I could do this for like Why? three hours. Why? Oh, I get it. Oh, no. What? Anyways, uh, really, though, taking a look. Take a look at this. My first thoughts were, God, if only those speakers weren't gray. If only. Right? Because the silver, gray, whatever. I feel like they stick out a lot. He's got. He's even went to the extent of getting the black out Yeti. Uh, although, I freaking hate the Yeti. No, I'm kidding. I love it. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, I would have loved to see him, you know, even if you want to take those apart. Spray paint them black or whatever. Limited edition. One out of one. Um, I think that would have looked really great. But here's the thing. A lot of people, I've seen people say it already, they think that the monitor placement's not good, but think about it from his perspective. If he's doing like YouTube, things like that, he has that screen. He's focused on the one screen. He's got the other screen for whether he's streaming, doing chat, whether he just needs side notes, things to know. Uh, that's all right there. So he's focused on one screen. He's got that set up. Ideally, yes, I love when monitors touch, and almost 99% of the time, I think they need to touch. Uh, here, I don't think it's the end of the world, given his setup. But if he's actually trying to use it as dual monitors where he's looking constantly back and forth, you need to touch. You, you need him to touch. You know the laptop? I don't think he uses that while he's like actually gaming. I think it's more of like it's there. He takes it on the go kind of thing, so that makes sense to me. Uh, you know the entertainment setup? A lot of people are saying that it's cluttered, it's weird, but actually it's just... I mean, it's not cluttered. It's pretty Everything's simple. Everything's in their own respective spot. Yeah, I mean, there's some cable, like, few cables. But the thing that's weird to me is that the TV is, like, slanted. So if he actually tries to use that while he's at the desk, I, I don't know. I think that is a little bit weird. But the, the main concern that I had really came into place in the second photo. Yeah, wire management is not ideal. Uh, it's not awful because he did hide it all into the corner. But... He hit it all into the corner, you know, so we're seeing the power strip got to kind of work on that But also I don't like that the uh, subwoofer is humping the PC uh, And I don't think that's the best spot for the PC. I think that could actually go to the side of the desk um, You know where the laptop is over there like to that side oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like that would probably look a little bit nicer and then the subwoofer you can keep there in that corner But I think the PC should move at least um, And then yeah, I mean it, it, the theme I, I think this is probably one of the only setups today that actually had a true like in your face theme you know he said he liked dark souls well i mean there it is <laughs> he likes dark souls and i think those skateboards uh boards whatever they are i think just like playing skateboards that really nice cool awesome unique i haven't seen it before so i think he did a good job with that you know the figure things like that cool um but yeah i definitely think that the desk wrap could make it seem a bit overwhelming for people but at the end of the day is it really overwhelming tom it's not. I actually kind of like it. Yeah, and I think it's like I'm used to the ones that are like ripped up and like dirty and all that. They, these look clean as hell, like the stickers itself. I yeah. don't know if it's a wrap or it's just placing the stickers one by one. It's got to be a wrap because look at like they don't go over the edge. Yeah. So anyways, um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts. I, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, but under the desk, like most setups today, needs a little bit of loving. But regardless, let's hop into the scores. Henry with an 82. Uh, Jasper with a 70, Ravo Revo with a 72, Joshua with a 66, Michael with a 90, good job, Ty with a 78, Luke with a 96, Jort with an 84, and Jake with an 86, which is pretty fair. I think most of those scores were higher than they should have been, surprisingly, it doesn't happen often, um, but the good thing is I also think they're really easy to get up even more. Uh, so I think I was pretty obvious with a lot of the things that need to be changed. And that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pay My Side of Episode 169. We're live on December 20th, 2016. Oh, my God. It's almost Christmas. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget, I'm Matt Philly. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Matt Philly. And also, producer Tom, you can find him on, on Twitter, at Thomas Philly. 
And you can find Dexter on Twitter at Dexter Philly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I will catch you on the flippity flop. Bye.